2021 i vow <laughs> i vow to not look like a bum on my vlog on my channel anymore because i'm tired y'all i'm tired of always looking like <sighs> scruffy you know like having a duke on like from now on i think i'm gonna always have like bathed and showered at least like i don't have to do my face or anything but at least they make it happy not wearing a duke before i speak to you guys but anyway hey guys welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome i welcome and welcome and if you are returning uh, you is a loyal one so i feel like i'm in really good spirits today i don't know I don't know, I even decided to start a new vlog show. But I don't know, I've just been in a funk. I haven't uploaded in days. I slept with my wig on because but what lace? What lace? Literally what lace except for obviously the mess that's happening here, but but I'm about to take it out because I really I think I wanna wear the long curly wig now. Um instead of this one. But yeah, ugh, guys. So somebody sent me a DM, which really made me so emotional and made me start this new vlog. And I'm gonna read it out. And uh, like to be honest, if I'm being 100% honest, a lot of you guys have been in my DMs on some. We miss you on YouTube. We miss you on YouTube. And I've been feeling it. But I think the only thing was the only difference between her and everybody else who's been. And also, some of them, some people have been commenting on my videos about, are you ever gonna come back? I saw that and I feel so bad because I'm just like, I don't even know if I'm gonna come back on the red app. But the only difference between her DM and everybody else's message is the timing. I've been in such a funk where I really did not want to upload anything, I didn't want to eat it. And I promised a couple of people that I would do something for my birthday. So I think, of which I don't know if I got enough footage that even makes sense. But I'm about to edit that now. But I figured, you know, let me actually start a new vlog um, right now. So I want to read you guys what she said. And it really touched my heart. This is on Thursday. This is actually at 11:59 p.m. Literally, one minute to Christmas, and she said, "Hey, Didi, I'm sorry to bother, but may you please get more YouTube content? I know for the past years we'd get these long vlogs or birthday celebrations or vacations, something, ma'am. We miss you so much on the YouTube space. Even if I say so myself, I've never met a YouTuber who makes us feel so much in a video." Whenever you go somewhere, I feel like I'm there with you because your vlogs are so precise and beautifully created. Yes, I've watched many YouTubers, but none do it like you. And then she said, and have yourself a blessed and Merry Christmas. So, also, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. My battery's flashing, guys. Um, Today's the day after Christmas. And, I don't know, like I'm saying, the thing is timing. Because I've been thinking about it a lot, a lot. I've been pondering on the idea of coming back on YouTube a lot. Not that I decided that I'm no longer doing it all. I decided on taking a break it just so happened that i stopped picking up my camera and i had so much footage here yeah, let me guys let me tell you i had so much footage of which you guys let me know if i should post that footage or like we're just starting a new year um my nails obviously done slayed by jeff nails underscore one i decided to do something less dramatic and i know somebody might be like less dramatic sis but this for me is not as dramatic they're shorter um stop focusing on the face they're shorter and like i feel like this is chilled you know but yeah i've decided that i'll come back on to youtube because of you guys' messages like all of them collectively you guys really want and like that is what makes me happy like i don't do um, youtube for money that's why like i'm not really like the most consistent person or monetizing and stuff like that because i don't care about the money aspect of it maybe in the long run but for now i really do it for you guys because you guys really enjoy what i do and i'm also like me you never related to anybody more than me says i'm like me it created what what i'm like i don't know i don't know i feel like she's giving me a little too much credit yeah, but 
that's all i wanted to say i wanted to say merry christmas and happy new year guys i love you guys so much i appreciate you guys so so much you guys have no idea how much you actually mean to me and like i can't i really can't explain it in words but i really really truly truly love and appreciate each and every single one of you guys like you guys are the real mvps i love you guys so much i wish you guys all the best in the new year 2020 like okay we had, we had it rough we had it tough but i wish everybody success health wealth all your heart's desires child i wish you all the best in the new year so we're gonna start off this vlog on a good note i'm gonna eat it for you guys and then i'm gonna clean and do whatever i really don't want to do anything i just want to go wash my car but i don't want to go out today i just want to stay home literally the whole day i'm gonna charge my battery and if i do something i will show you guys even if i'm just cooking or whatever i will vlog like you guys always ask me like even if you're just cleaning even if you're just sitting at home even just vlog <laughs> so i'm gonna do that i'm gonna do that and i'm gonna start it now instead of waiting for next year to start properly we're gonna start today actually even this looking scrappy on camera we're gonna start today see i took off my duke and i think i look a little bit decent so we're gonna start everything today that's my message to you from now when you guys see this which might be early next year but early 2021 but start today there's no next week those things are not promised ask me those things are not promised there's a fly but those things are not promised start today you never know you child you might not make it to tomorrow or the next hour even so today now the time is literally now okay such a long intro but galerata guys i really love you guys so i look cute i want to go take off this wig though i'm putting on the longer one i don't know why because it's so hot I should stick to this one. I really like how this lace is like laying, child. But yeah, I'll see you guys. It looks decent, like we said we would. Hey guys, let me get my tripod. <sighs> um, yeah. So it's night time. I literally did not do anything. <laughs> Nothing at all. <clears throat> um. My nose is red because I have a sniffles and I don't understand why. The real reason why I'm vlogging is to show you guys. So I'm about to look at this wig. She wasn't like this. Literally, it's me running my hands. But this is freshly cleaned. I have my water over there. I have my brush. I have my on Jackie's earring. Flex seed elongating curling gel and then I have my mousse and I'm gonna work my magic on her because I think I want to wear this wig tomorrow I don't know which wig is gonna work with my outfit because I want to wear a bucket hat so even with a bucket hat this wig still works you can still see it but I just feel like it doesn't look so flattering so I don't know this is what the front looks like right i'll show you guys and this is how my gosh yeah very cute that is how they oh they are shining child i think it's that on jackie's thing i put in here but i put it in here so that the curls can stay like kind of like flat and wet because this is what happens to it it's gonna get really bushy like this so i wanted to stay like this so i can just put it on a bucket hat and it doesn't get bushy because if it gets bushy i'm gonna be feeling really, really hot 
so yeah I just wanted to show you guys that I am about to eat it I know I said I was just checking from my blanket but I know I said I was gonna eat it earlier but yeah editing is not my editing is oh the light here super bright editing is not my favorite thing to do guys so forgive me if I say I'm gonna edit and then I don't well she's work she is doing a lot of work okay editing is a lot of work but I'm gonna eat now my gravy is almost down I just put sugar in it and then I'm gonna put tomato paste and I'm gonna put chocolate. but I'm not gonna put in a lot of chocolate because I put in sugar and I put in a good amount of sugar but yeah see you guys tomorrow I think I'm gonna vlog at the thing but I might vlog on my phone but yeah Tell you about baby. I'll show you guys my nails most. Oh my gang ish. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys what I mean when I say I like my pores slightly charred. I'm gonna show you guys. So this is it. You see, like this literally looks like it is coming off of the bribe, but also just we're using this cast iron pan of my mom um and you know when they have injuries they cook better so the handle fell off but like we still use it so you can see they like all of that burn so this is how it looks on the one side and which I'll, i can't see because i'm looking through the camera and this is how it looks on the other side so obviously this is how i want it i'm going to like eat from the bry stand and then this is how my gravy looks. Don't mind. I've already started dishing, so I'm using the same spoon. And this is what is left of yesterday's roast. So this one is a more saltier one. And this is a sweet one. It had a very sweet glaze. Um, I think this one had the plum glaze. And this one had the coke glaze. But yeah. You can see they've been cutting pieces and stuff, so I'm about to cut some for them. I personally, I'm okay with just pop and voice, my favorite. My favoritism. I want to eat it now while it's still warm. Like, give me pop gravy. So, guys, this is how my hair is looking now. It's morning time. Good morning. And this is how it's looking. So it literally still looks like it's wet, but I don't like it. It has that crunchy feel, you know that crunchy feel, and that's because of that on Jackie's product because it it is basically like a gel type of thing, you know what I'm saying? So it like okay, you guys can't hear it, but yeah. Okay, guys, this is how I look right now. I just sprayed my switch beauty superhero mist and this is how my hair looks I kind of unraveled it a little just to give me um, a bit more volume not that I wanted volume but like I didn't like that crunch so now the crunch is no longer there which thank god but it is still keeping the curl which I'm happy about and then because I moved the front, because Nagi is still all to the back, so because I grew it, like I kind of side swept but not really opening a pot, so the side really became voluminous. So I had to like redo the spray, the mousse, and the gel thing on the side, and I did a little bit on this side, but it's mainly like this part over here, so it's wet. And I glued it on, and I'm about to do my face now. Um, I look cute so this is my before
But home guys, I literally <laughs> I'm so childish. I literally forgot to show you guys what I looked like before I left. Like forgot, like I'll finish, finish. Like and I think the reason is I was rushing, I was obviously late, so let me take out this clip. So yeah, I literally forgot to like be like, guys, this is what I look like. I even took off my earrings, but this is what I looked like um, for the most part. My hair is now like pretty big, but it's not too, too big, you know. It's a big that I... I liked and I could handle our danced so I sweated it was really hot outside so my wig is no longer glued on but one thing about this wig is made really well so I could still like just pull the straps at the back and it still stayed on pretty well so that's a plus um, but yeah otherwise get sharp I really, really enjoyed myself. Fontaine brunch. Fontaine anything. Like Fontaine anything. Anything. You name it. It's literally on. Like on. On. Um, but yeah. I mean Pretoria is. Where the vibe is anyway. So I mean come on. Get with it. Come on with it. Get with it now. But yeah, this is how I looked. I didn't really like preach chill beat today. I don't do all the dramatics. My eye was really literally just my normal standard eye. I just put shiny shiny on, but I didn't like cut my crease. I literally just put it on. And it stayed on really well. I must say, I'm really proud of these eyeshadow palettes I've been investing all my money in and then my lashes. You guys already saw these lashes in my birthday vlog. Don't look at my makeup too much, but they are. They are it. Like. They're literally it. I look pale on the camera. I don't understand why. Because my makeup is perfectly fine. But anyway, I'm going to wash it. I think it's just lighting because this lighting is literally disgusting. Because you see, I had so much fun, guys. We all know I didn't show you guys my outfit now, but I'll include a few snippets from the thing right now. like vlogging is very tricky in these places because you kind of like it, it's like i don't know i don't know i can't explain it but it's very tricky so yeah i i snapped and I, i'm gonna show you guys a few snaps and just you guys saw all those snaps it was good happy hey guys it is tuesday i'm about to go out for lunch with my friend bonala um Literally, it's just so hot. I wanted to do at least my eyebrows, but it is so hot that I was like, no. 
like literally no so i'm just wearing this dress that i got as a gift for my birthday last year but i'm only wearing it for the first time um don't mind my slippers just wearing these clear shoes from zara which you guys know by now i'm feeling so hot like let me just go guys and i'm carrying my nude bag and i can come on at you also I don't like people staring at me. I don't know. I don't think I would think this way. I don't like people as they do it. Not funny. No? I think they do. But just not me. Say hey. Hey, what I need to do. <laughs> it's the background for me. Huh? Okay, it's the background for me. Let me show you guys. I don't even know how to vlog anymore because I haven't done it in such a long time. vlog a little bit because <laughs> I'm getting ready I'm about to go to well happy new year let's start there but where are my manners happy new year guys I spoke about new year a little bit in a little bit about new year in the past vlog which I hope I produced because uh, I'll be vlogging and not putting these vlogs out your makeup. yeah huh? mm -hmm. wow. uh -uh. don't touch it your makeup. Oh, no. your face. Oh. <laughs> nice this is a dramatic foundation, foundation. Mm. and what is all the brush features. yes ma'am and what is the pom-poms has the pom poms, get a sponge. Yeah, the sponge. But like it, it can sponge. But don't put it, it's okay. I like lime sake. Ow! Why on slana? Yeah, I want to like lime sake. I'm going to see you. 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 Please stop it. Please stop it. Good lunch. Sorry. Do you want to exit? No. Anyway, I wanted to say Happy New Year, guys. I hope Happy New Year. Happy Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> Happy New Year. I wish you guys all the best in this new year. I wish you all your hearts to highest, child. So I have pray, 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 pray like. Something if it's not Peppa you. Pig screaming in the uh, back, I, it's the squirrel. I need squirrel. to go to rock. I need to go to rock. Put the game, ma. So I need to go to party tomorrow. <laughs> it's but how she switches from Africa to English for me. For rock. rock will be anything tonight. What are you saying, sis? What is impossible? <laughs> Yeah, but I wanted to say Happy New Year. I wish you guys all the best in the new year. I know it doesn't seem like it's going to be a good year with the death ray child. Because of COVID. Uh -uh. Like, it is dumb and stupid and it's just doing too much. But, it is what it is. So, I'm trying to get ready right now. I'm going out for lunch. But it's like 3 o'clock. And I haven't done my face. So I'm about to do my face. I don't know what I'm going to wear. I'll see. I'll show you guys how I look after I transform my face. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All of that. So let me do my face real quick and then I'll show you guys how I look. I am late, obviously. <laughs> On brand. 
literally on brand i'm about to leave this is how i look i haven't done anything for my lips i'm just gonna do liner and some gloss but yeah this is how my makeup turned out i'm just wearing this dress y'all this dress is giving me stress but yeah i'm wearing this long dress and then i'm just wearing some flats nothing hectic let me go y'all let me go because i'm late guys 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 why do i look oily though because i don't do powder now guys i'm here to address something important which i feel i personally just feel like i should not be addressing this i'm dressed Anyway, let me update you guys. I went to my lunch thing. Came back really late. I got home about half past eight and it could be nine. So, but I wasn't gonna vlog it because it unvloggable, yeah. Kinda unvloggable. So, I think when I. The things y'all DM me sometimes. I get so tired after like two DMs and I'm just like I still have so many to go. Anyway. So what I wanna talk about, you know, is I just got a DM. Okay, I just saw it now but I don't wanna open it nine hours ago I got two DMs from two people now y'all know I'm a nice person if I do say so myself like I reply to DMs as best as I can I try my best and like when you guys ask me questions it just reminded me that there's somebody that DM'd me about hey and i opened it and i don't respond because it was i opened it at 5 a.m <sighs> so i got two dms and I, oh i was saying <clears throat> i'm very like if you ask me a question i will answer and i try my best to answer and to reply to dms as best like as best as i possibly can you know sometimes it might be days sometimes i might miss it especially reactions i could miss it because instagram doesn't send them to the dms anymore it like it i don't know it does some weird thing <clears throat> but my point is this okay i know that i put my life on the internet right and i'm gonna say this and i'm gonna say this one and one time we're not gonna talk about this ever again because i don't want it to be a point of topic for us again because i feel like it's a negative thing to talk about and i don't like talking about negative things but i know that i put my life on the internet sharp granted the lighting is hitting me so beautifully from here trying <laughs> trying me trying me but ne. See, I can't take anything seriously. Let me be serious. Right, I put my life on the internet, grand shop. And I do it for entertainment purposes, grand shop. Get it? But let's be respectful. Like, at the end of the day, and I, um, I know I'm, more, I'm not a big shot at anything, but I, let's just set boundaries. See, Sally, no. Because I don't like this thing that I'm seeing. I'm, I'm a human being, I have feelings. I don't know what you guys are seeing. I don't portray myself as a brand. For one, I'm not a brand. I am Gidimete M, the person. When I start portraying myself as a brand, I will be a brand. Mar, 
at the end of the day you must know that i am a person first i'm a human being first before i am the brand or before i am the youtuber or the whatever the content creator you know what i'm saying so i feel like before you ask me something ask yourself if you were in my shoes would that make sense for like how would you feel if someone else <clears throat> remember at the end of the day <clears throat> excuse me at the end of the day we are internet friends mara we are complete strangers like let's be honest we are str and i'm looking i'm not looking at the lens i'm so sorry because But let me be serious and stop playing. What did I say? Oh, my lips are so dry. I like, I've been pondering up over this topic for weeks, like close to literally two months now. Wait, let me, I'm gonna tell you exactly when I got the first DM because I, I ignored it. And they're like, you know who you are. And okay, well, two months, I'm dramatic. Three weeks. But because I'm not, you are fool. <laughs> um, because I'm not used to ignoring DMs. I feel like it's such a long time. But this DM has been sitting in there. But, okay, so I got this DM three weeks ago. Now. Oh, I was saying, wait, before we get to that. I was saying, and this is what I use on my lips. the eight hour cream anyway um so if you're gonna dm me something first ask yourself if it makes sense you know if it's respectful um to ask this question if you personally as you yourself wouldn't have a problem with people asking you this question very important put yourself in my shoes because <laughs> game motto guys sometimes you guys are just being unfair with the things you're asking me so i got a dm asking me about sources my question is this if you know what happened you know if you don't you don't and we're not going to we're not going to talk about it in the dms that is what we are not going in none of the dms in the comments that is not that is literally what we are not going to do and i will literally delete the comments if i see a comment addressing it you don't owe it to anyone to tell them what happened it's not anybody's business you know but my thing is this if you know you know if you don't you don't and the reason why you might not know is because you do not follow me you are not following me on instagram then so because like literally all my loyal people that i know by name because i know my subscribers by name all my loyal people that i know by name none of them has ever come to me and asked me about this everybody knows because they all followed me on instagram prior to so when this happened and i spoke about it on instagram everybody knew what it is like i felt like we went through it together because i even remember i did a q a thingy on instagram shortly after and a lot of you guys asked me about it and i openly i openly and i'm not i'm like i don't want to get emotional because like <sighs> i feel like my wig is like i'm so ready to go anyway I don't want to get emotional but I feel like in a sense we went through this together like we dealt with it together collectively <laughs> me and my loyal ones literally that's on period so now I get people asking me where is Spusiso first of all at no point in time has this ever been Spusiso's channel and you guys know very well that he didn't even like being on this channel and like he didn't like being on camera and i forced him to be on camera and i don't regret that one bit i don't regret it at all but my thing is this is my channel 
there's anybody that you should be wanting to see it's me if you don't want to see me unsubscribe because you won't see so see so so please unsubscribe if you don't want to see me alone and you want to see him I like it's me and him i guess it's not gonna happen so I don't want to sound mean and I don't want to be mean because I don't like that she but I know that I can be very mean and I can say things and they can sound very mean even though they don't sound mean to me but all I'm saying is if your sole purpose for subscribing to my channel was to see me and him then kindly subscribe and if you're going to continually ask me where he is please subscribe to my channel and don't follow me on Instagram because Limpakela stress literally like my point is yeah like i get it okay fine maybe like i get it actually like i kind of get it but i also don't the reason why i get it is that maybe because he was on my channel but i also feel like hypothetically speaking so soon i broke up ne? now when people break up it's a very personal thing that they go through so it doesn't make sense for you to go and be like where's my man do you guys like do you guys actually do that like do you guys actually do that where you go and ask people where their exes are like if if you don't see someone in someone's life anymore you guys go and ask them especially if they had a romantic relationship like you go and you ask for them so like you guys went and dm to Bonang and you were like so where's Keenan? that to me is appalling that to me is weird like i don't even know who i watched on youtube that broke up Ooh, what did i do but if people break up i would never be like in the dms on some so where your man's is <laughs> like i'd understand if this was a couple's channel get it completely obviously you guys subscribe to see a couple obviously so we would need to sit you guys down and like explain who oh, you know we split so but if people like this is my own channel i just feel like it's very unfair like i don't like that question i feel like it's very invasive you don't do that like it doesn't make sense whenever when you break up with your person it's like are people coming to you and be like yeah so mama okay that are not your friends in real life like that like that like you're not even close like that and my problem is i think my i have two really big problems with this thing the first thing is that y'all don't greet that's my first problem i do me this you guys just come into my dms and uh, with that like a sub of that of the fact that you guys don't greet is both of these people are people that have never dm'd me before these are people that have never reacted to us because i post a lot on my stories more than i post on my feed so these are people that have never reacted to anything i've posted before these are people that have never asked me a question related to whatever. These are people that have never like had a general conversation. Because I have a lot of conversations with you guys on Instagram and the DMs. Like personal things. So I'm very confused. Which means that you guys came on my Instagram solely to ask me about this. Which makes me question your judgment as a person. And your morale as a whole because and then the other day i did a q a and someone asked me in the q a i don't remember who that was so i'm not gonna speak on it because i don't remember who that person was but like guys come on I am pleading with you guys, please stop it. <laughs> That's not funny. Um, another thing is, I said there's two things that really irritate me about it. I guess first thing is that Ali Dumidis, 
and a cyber fit is that both of these people I've never spoken to me before. This is their first. It is a good request because we've never spoken via DM, me and both of these people before. And then the second thing that completely throws me off. <laughs> What's the second thing? And I just thought about it and I said, I think my biggest thing is, or my biggest problem is, but now I forgot because I dwelled into this first point so much. But like, guys, don't do that. Are you my business? Excuse me, are you my business? Don't do that. Don't do that. I'm single. All I'm gonna say is that I'm single. I'm not gonna talk about species. I'm single. Let's be respectful and leave so going forward respect him and don't talk about him please and thank you don't ask me about him be respectful thank you good morning guys if i look upset it's because i am it is so damn early and it's my second last day of leave it's the 11th no it's the 13th eh? oh it's the 11th <laughs> it's the 11th of jan and this is my second last day of leave and i'm up and it's super early but i'm up because i'm going to braid my hair my hands are so light jeez but i'm going to my opening so get my hair braided and i'm so upset by how early it is and i'm on leave why am i up at this time I mean, it's not that early. <laughs> it's literally like half past eight. But guys, it's early. Tomorrow, loud of voice, I can even, it's not up yet. But anyway, yesterday we ended off the vlog on a tense, tense note. But we're in better spirits. And I'm not upset. I'm fine. Like, like I said, I got the first DM three months ago, so three months, three weeks ago. So at this point, I'm over it. But I felt like after I got the second one, then I was like, okay, clearly this is something that needs to be addressed. Because when it was asked in the Q and A, I was like, mm -hmm. whatever, leave it, loss, ignore. But then when I got the second DM, I was like. No. No. Clearly, we need to have a discussion as family members. We need to have a family meeting and just, you know, clear this up. Okay. I need to lotion my face. Lena. I am half asleep. I bet I've been waking up so early, guys. You know, I was tired. Mm, I almost said I look at Tessa across the screen, then I remembered. Oh, that is not an option. We'll use sunscreen. Because I don't feel like moisturizing with an actual moisturizer. So, my best bit is my sunscreen. I'm so tired of guys. Ooh, I heard such great things about the super king. Switch beauty. I'm wearing a sports bra. Switch beauty. Um water gel. I'm hearing really good things about it, so I'm gonna try that. Cause I'm looking for a new moisturizer very anyway. Such cute baby hairs at home. I still have my wig braids. <laughs> I just washed them. Because I can't like untie them at the back because of how the lady did them. So I need help. So I just washed them. And then like I feel like the dirty part was my scalp anyway. So I... It's ghetto. It's rushy. But we're going to make do. What we have and what we can because child. Uh, 
Segunjal. Okay, I just wanted to say hello. I will see you guys when I am done getting my hair braided because oh, I'm upset. I don't want to walk. Hey guys. So, I'm about to literally go wash my face and I realized that I did not speak to you guys today. This light is kind of washing me out a little bit, but um, it's Saturday. I went to my sister's to my sister's place and we had such a cute little day, but I didn't vlog because if you know, or maybe if you don't know, I don't really like put my family on the internet like my old child, but let me show you guys how cute I looked telling me about an update like relax yep right now I look so weird I don't understand why I look so weird it's so weird but anyway that is me this is how I looked. Oh, you can't see the straight that I'm wearing. Eh? It's so cute. Such a cutie pie. But yeah, guys, it was a good day with my family. I'm happy. We were sipping, child. If you, oh, let me show you guys the food. I don't have the picture of the food job. <coughs> I want to send in a picture of the food. Let's see. Maybe Larato has not yet deleted her status. She hasn't. You guys are in luck. Oh, here's a picture of the food that my sister made for us. Vibes, everything was just nice and vibey. Yeah, everything was really nice and vibey. Cute, cute look. But that's the day that I had. I'm about to go wash my face right now. <laughs>